Let's talk sports. We talked Francis Ngano. He came on social media yesterday to list reasons why he left UFC. He recounted that he signed a five years contract to UFC and during this period he requested for several things but none of his requests was granted. He stated the UFC said I can pay my health insurance and all of that I said sure yes I can pay for my health insurance. At this time, health insurance for me is not a problem. But how about those people, those guys that are at the bottom? They can't afford that health insurance. I've been there, so it's something that I still carry in my heart. I was asking this for everybody, not for myself. He stated during his interview with Arias, and he further said, what I understand is that you don't go into a negotiation expecting to get everything you want, but at least you want your other partner to show some willingness. I asked for a lot of things. I was expecting all. I was not expecting all the things to be granted, but at least one or two. I asked for the right to a sponsorship, which was ripped off. We can't have sponsorship. I asked for health insurance. I could not have. I asked for a fighter advocate, somebody in the board meeting who will advocate for his fighters. I could not have the stuff that I asked for. They did not consider any. They say no, they don't do business like that. So last night, that was yesterday, Francis Ngano took to his Facebook page to say this. Thank you all for your support as I dealt with this over the last years. Now it's time to tell the truth. I let you know why I'm leaving UFC. I will also keep in touch with you all. I will also touch on what's next and what to expect from me moving forward. See you all sooner than you think. He posted on his Facebook page and this caption followed was followed by a video. That's his interview with the areas. So let's listen and watch the video Francis Ngannou shared with us on his Facebook page. Credit to that video goes to him because we got it from his Facebook page. Let's watch. Hello everyone. I want to thank you for being so patient with me during this time from my last fight my surgery and uh, my negotiation behind the scene with the UFC. I want to thank the UFC fan for who has supported me during this time and thank to the UFC for the past seven years. I want to share my excitement for the heavyweight fight between John John and Siringan. It's going to be a very exciting fight. I'm going to be watching that fight. But um, we all know the, the term undisputed means nothing here. Hmm. Yes, it really means nothing. But I will still be excited watching that fight. You're looking at, you're going to fight arguably the greatest fighter of all time. You'd be the highest paid heavyweight ever in UFC history. Or you think there's more money out there to fight somebody who isn't the greatest of all time, somebody who is a lesser opponent? I mean, you, you'll have to ask Francis that question, but in my opinion, that's what it is. They have also said that I'm scared of fighting John Jones or somebody else, which I don't know where they came from with that one. That sounds very ridiculous, in my opinion, with all due respect because I've been calling for this fight for over two years. I've been waiting for this fight forever. And I've been fighting guy even with one knee, with injury. And now, why do I be scared of them? Why I feel even more confident? No, I'm not scared. The only thing that I'm scared of is to be trapped. It's not to lose my freedom, which I value very much. You guys know how the UFC contract can be restrictive. And uh, as an independent contractor, you don't really have a say in that contract. You don't even have a right. So I can't I can do that. You don't want to be here. You don't have to be here. Anyone who doesn't have to be here, doesn't have to be here. Um, you know that's not true, right? You know how restrictive the UFC contract can be for a contract that supposedly 
uh, for independent contractor. So there is not really a lot of thing that uh, you want or you can do when you are in that contract. You they decide for you. I signed my last contract um, in December 2017. Even at the time, I knew it wasn't a good contract, but I know I have to um, earn my position, become a champion, have more value. In order to negotiate a better deal for me, I need to add more value to myself. And that's what I've been doing in the past five years. You know, and which is okay. I never really complained with that contract, no matter what happened. The only thing that I wanted is the right to deliver that contract, to terminate that contract as I should, and move on, in, move on in, into the next one. You know, I do think, I do believe that I have that right at least. I mean, that's called freedom, you know to be able to terminate a contract in order to start another one. And if the new one doesn't suit your condition, you're also free not to sign without going into a bad blood, you know. So that's, that's how I feel about it. I just, it's just unfortunate that we didn't come to a term, which I wish we could, we could have, but it is what it is, you know, but, uh, as an independent contractor, I have to look up to myself and do what's right for me. And everyone, everyone out there should do the same for themselves. Now, it's very crucial for my uh, future. I have to take a time, decide uh, what's my next move. And uh, I assume I'm gonna speak, I'm gonna speak to people some people out there and see what's possible. Hopefully, I mean, I want to start do some boxing at first before step into MMA because regardless, I still have some so much excitement and so much love with MMA that I feel like I haven't delivered any, everything regarding MMA. But I also want to do some boxing match, so yes. Maybe explore a possibility to do one boxing match and come back into MMA with another organization, promotion, or my own promotion. Everywhere that I feel respected, everywhere that I feel value, I will be happy to do that. You know, um, free agency is something that no many fighter <coughs> in their prime uh, in the very top has a chance to to experience and then uh, now I have it I fight for it I fought for it for the past three years I have it and I really want to do the be a better use out of it and remember they're gonna be saying a lot of things they're gonna be trying to bash me to devalue me but no matter what don't forget, you have to remember who the real king is, the best heavyweight in the world. I'm the best heavyweight in the world. And I don't care what they say out there. Hey, man, I'm the man, you know. I'm the Thank you so much. Credit still goes to Francis Ngannou. And he says we should be expecting his next move. So we are actually patiently waiting and expecting what is coming up next. We are waiting for him to give us the good news that we have been waiting for. We join our own voice to that of his to say thank you all for always supporting Francis Ngannou. And thank Francis Ngannou too so much for putting the flag of Cameroon high and keeping that of Africa as well. That article takes us to the end of today's edition of our live news because we say thank you so much for devoting your time to watch thank you so much for watching thank you to madam christina billa who was our technician for today touching the 1001 button making sure that you get us five on five thank you to mr fozo oliver who assisted us technically general supervision came in from bobe kwan chamba and for presentation i was gracious berina to meet again keep watching cm tv for more entertainment